Hey everyone, welcome to this WordPress hacking course. This series is made especially for those of you who want to build a career in bug bounty hunting and ethical hacking. We'll go step by step, combining clear explanations with real practical demos so you can actually see how WordPress can be tested for security weaknesses. If you're serious about bug bounty hunting, make sure you watch every part of this series. And before we begin, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you never miss the upcoming parts. All right, let's get started. Before we dive into hacking, let's start with the basics. What is WordPress? WordPress is an open source content management system, or CMS, that allows anyone to easily build and manage websites. It's extremely popular. In fact, it powers over 40% of all websites on the internet, from simple blogs to e-commerce stores and even large enterprise and government websites. The reason WordPress is so widely used is because it's flexible, beginner-friendly, and supports thousands of themes and plugins. But this popularity also makes it a prime target for hackers and bug bounty hunters. Throughout this course, we'll explore how these strengths and weaknesses open the door to security vulnerabilities that you, as a bug bounty hunter, can discover and exploit in a legal way. Now let's understand why WordPress is such an important target in bug bounty and ethical hacking. First, WordPress powers about 43% of all websites worldwide. That means almost half of the internet is running on WordPress. Second, according to multiple reports, over 90% of hacked CMS-based websites are WordPress. That's because attackers know there's a huge attack surface here. There are more than 70,000 plugins available for WordPress. And while plugins make websites powerful, they're also a common source of vulnerabilities, from SQL injection to remote code execution. And every single year, thousands of CVEs are reported in WordPress core, themes, and plugins. This huge percentage and attack surface is exactly why WordPress is so relevant for bug bounty hunters. If you understand how to find weaknesses in WordPress, you instantly open yourself up to more real-world opportunities in bug bounty programs. Now that we know WordPress is a huge target, let's break it down further and see where most vulnerabilities actually come from. If we look at real-world statistics, only about 5% of vulnerabilities come from the WordPress core itself. That's because the core team actively maintains and patches it regularly. Around 15% of vulnerabilities come from themes. Themes often have design-focused code that isn't security-hardened, which creates opportunities for attackers. But the biggest chunk, more than 80% of vulnerabilities, come from plugins. Since there are over 70,000 plugins, many developed by third parties without proper security audits, they become the main entry point for attackers. So, as bug bounty hunters, our focus will be on enumerating plugins and themes, identifying outdated or vulnerable ones, and then exploiting them safely in a lab setup. Before we jump into the technical part, here's a quick overview of what we're going to cover in this WordPress hacking course. We'll start with recon and enumeration, then move on to information disclosure, where we'll look at sensitive files and endpoints. Next, we'll dive into authentication attacks like brute forcing the login page and abusing XML RPC. After that, we'll focus on the biggest attack surface, plugins and themes, followed by privilege escalation and post-exploitation techniques. Finally, we'll cover how to defend and harden WordPress, and also look at the bug bounty angle with real-world examples. So this roadmap will take you step by step, from the basics all the way to advanced exploitation and defense. 
Let's wrap up part one. We learned why WordPress is such a big target and where most of its vulnerabilities come from, core, plugins, and themes. This is exactly why bug bounty hunters like us should focus on WordPress. It's everywhere and it's vulnerable. But this was just the starting point. In the next part, we're going to dive into recon and enumeration, where we'll actually start fingerprinting WordPress sites, gathering valuable information, and preparing our attack surface. So make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified as soon as part two is uploaded. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.